Well, this year is the 25th anniversary for Habitat for Humanity here in the Lafayette area, and here to talk more about the local celebration is Doug Taylor. Doug, thanks for coming in here. Uh, this weekend, you guys have something called Founders Day or you know Founders Weekend. Um, you know, just explain what you guys have going on. Well, 25 years ago, uh, Habitat for Humanity of Lafayette was founded, and uh, so we decided to have a, a Founders Celebration uh, this weekend, and. Uh, Along with that, we will be um, having the groundbreaking for our 200th house that we've built in Lafayette, which is quite a significant milestone. So it, it just so happens that you know, 25 years of, of building uh, produced 200 houses. Mm -hmm. You know, when you look back over the years and you know you talk about a, a 200th house, I mean, what's it take to to get to that level? I mean, you know, what who do you guys really depend upon to to reach that level? You know, when we first started building, I, uh, I was a volunteer at the time, and I showed up for the very first work session on the very first house, and it was really hard, difficult building the first house. It was hard finding volunteers, and when it was, uh, when we finished that house, I told a friend, I said, you know, I don't think Habitat is meant for Lafayette, Indiana, and here, 25 years later, we have built, we've done that 200 times, but this community has. Uh, come behind us and has supported us well. It takes a lot of lot of different kinds of volunteers, not just construction volunteers, but people that can raise money, that can speak in, to the public, and, and you know, people that work with our families and uh, select our families. And so there's a lot that goes into um, to what we do. Mm -hmm. And if anyone drives through uh, Purdue University, uh, they might notice some construction taking place, and that's part of Hammering with Hope, uh, which is something that you guys are affiliated with, obviously. Yes. Coach uh, Danny Hope uh, is, uh, has lent his, lent his name to um, um, helping us build a house in the fall. Uh, last year we built three Hammering with Hope houses. This year we're going to be building two houses, and we're going to have a, a march on uh, Sunday called Marching with Hope and uh, with our Purdue Student Habitat chapter and Purdue students. Okay, a lot of events taking place this weekend to uh, kick off the 25th uh, anniversary of Habitat for Humanity. Founders Day Sunday, October 17th at 10.30. Doug, thank you so much for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Well, sweet and juicy watermelons have some pretty amazing health benefits.